Listen, I got stand-up dates coming, okay? ChrisDComedy.com. We just put a big one on sale today, October 23rd, the Fox Theater, Foxwoods, Connecticut. It's my first big theater, thousand-seater, baby. So go to ChrisDComedy.com. Get those tickets for the October 23rd Foxwoods date right now today to the end of today. If you use the pre-sale code FOX5, pre-sale code FOX5, you can get tickets early. They're selling very quickly. October 23rd, and then we got Providence in July, Eatontown, New Jersey in August, Nashville in October. We got September dates, November. We're in Boston. We're all over the place. ChrisDComedy.com. Thank you so much. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Chrissy Chaos. Um, I, I'm sorry about my shirt. Uh, my guest today is a guy, if you've been a fan of mine for a while, especially if you've been a fan since the History Hyena days, you know we've spoken about this guy a lot, and he's finally here. Give it up for Mr. John A. Light. How are you? Thanks. For having hey, me. what's up, buddy? All right. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so here's the thing. So here's the thing. So I'm wearing two watches, by the way. You notice, right? Yeah, you weren't. Yes, two watches. I did notice that. I'm wearing zero watches. And one of those watches was mine until about five minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so, John, so first of all, it's a pleasure. It's an honor to have you. Thanks. I don't know if you know, but I've been great shoes, by the way. But I've been a fan of yours since Fear City came out. So we used to have... Uh, podcast, me and my friend Giannis Papas. It was called The History Hyenas. It was very successful. It was the number 18 podcast in the country of Liberia. That's a fact. <laughs> and, and, and it's a fact. And um, we don't do it anymore. But when we were doing it, okay, when Fear City came out, in the beginning of the show, you're a big part of that documentary, Fear City on Netflix, one of the, the I think, the best show about the mafia ever made. It was great if you haven't seen it. You said, in the interview, they show you jump and rope, you're boxing or whatever. And then you said, they, they, the interview says to you, hey, you know, like, how, what was your tactics or whatever? And you said, listen, you said, I would go, you know, I would be the guy who would get guys money, you know, from them. And, if, and, and, and you said something, something. But then what you said was, you said, and then I would come at, if they didn't have the money, I'd come at them in a different way. That's what you said. You said, I'd come at them in a different way. And me and Giannis, when we heard you say that, we fell on the floor laughing. And throughout the show now, all we used to say for the end of that podcast was, we'll come at you in a different way. And we would say to anybody or anything that we didn't like, we're going to fucking come at you in a different way. And we would yell, come at you. My mother to this day now says, I'm going to come at you in a different way. So you've influenced my whole family and my life by coming at you in a different way. So I just want to know, you know, what does that mean, come at you in a different way? Well, I got famous for saying, yes, I did. So for all the crimes I did, I would just say, yes, I did. And Felix would right. get a kick out of it. Yeah. My co-host, you know, who yes. everybody knows who he is. Yes. And uh, we started selling baseball bats because I'd come at you a different way, meaning I'd bat you. Got it. So now we, we, we uh, signed bats. So another a follow-up question to that is when we first met, uh, when we first started reaching out to you, is you were uh, Venetia and I, Venetia, our, our producer. Um, everybody knows Venetia on the show, the lovely Venetia. Um, um, she was reaching out to your uh, assistant or, or, or associate, um, uh, Pasquale, and then all of a sudden that flipped. And then we started talking to Felix. So we just want to know, did you come at Pasquale in a different way? Oh, and, I, and is he okay? A hundred percent. So Pasquale. Oh, we used to have group conversations and tell Pasquale, if you do that one more time, you're going to get one of those okay. bats tattooed on your head. But Pasquale's alive right now. Yeah. Well, okay. He's, okay, he's okay, alive and well. He's our friend. Yeah. Because Venetia and I, we were kind of waiting on pins and needles to see if Pasquale was dead. No. Because it just abruptly was, hey, I'm Felix. I'm the new guy. And we're like, oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. So Pasquale, if you're watching, we're happy that you're alive. Um, so, okay. So actually he went to the hospital last week. He had heart problems. Oh, he had heart problems. Right, you know, <laughs> the doctor called me up. He blamed me. The next week I had a heart problem. I love, I love that. That's like yeah. the, the new like mob stuff now. It's like, yeah, he went to the hospital. He had fucking polyps on his colon. So, <laughs> you know, that's what, it, so, so, okay. So now, so now you're, you're yourself now doing a podcast, which tell everybody what the podcast is. Your podcast? Oh, I thought I was here because you were going to tell them all that No, stuff. no, no. I like it. I like it. Don't when make me come at you another way. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going uh, another the way. The podcast is about, actually, it's a positive message for kids. I talk about the crimes. I talk about the past. Yeah. I talk about shows, books, stories. I got a new book out now called Mafia International, John A. Light. But right. what I do do is uh, 
I got a, a young, successful guy, who uh, Felix Levine, who's my co-host, that does uh, positive things with his life. And really, that's we mix a little bit of, you know, the reality of the life, the street, with a positive message to kids. Right, right. Okay, and you also have a Patreon for that podcast, Mafia Truths with John A. Light. You know us, we love Patreon here, so go Mafia Truth with John A. Light, support that. So, so when, I think, you know, people may have asked you this before, but I've always been, like, fascinated. Did you, like, you know, like, like is it one of those things where, like, you know, you wake up, like, I know they say some people wake up and they just are like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna get into this life of crime. Do you think it was always in your brain or do you think like the neighborhood you grew up in morphed you into that, the criminal stuff? Well, you know, we just did a, a podcast with my brother Jimmy, right? And Felix asked him that same question. Do you think, and you know, and Jimmy came, he said something really that was true. We grew up in an environment that was very violent, our family, our mm -hmm. neighborhood, and we were also introduced to the mafia as babies, as three years old, Lucky Luciano's cousin was one of my father's and uncle's partner. Right. My other uncle married a boss of Detroit's daughter. Right. My baseball coach, his father was uh, Albert An uh, Andy uh, Ruggiano, who was made by Albert Anastasia. Right. And his sons were my baseball coach, boxing, trained with me in boxing. So right. I grew up around the mob. Right. Everywhere he went, I went for a haircut. The guy's taking book. So, you know, oh my God, yeah. so the guy would bet yeah. another guy, is he going to shit fuck up my hair or not? You know, right, so, right. You know <laughs> I mean, it was just part of our it was life. Just, yeah, I, yeah, my hairstylist's name is Barbara. So oh, we'll I don't get think that she's too. in the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine she was. She's a kingpin. So, so <laughs> she fucking Barbara, shout out Europa. Um, um, okay. <laughs> So, so if, yeah, so I, yeah, cause that's the thing is like, you know, things just grow up differently. Like I grew up, I was an altar boy, you know, with psoriasis and, <laughs> and, and I had, you know, I was scared. I, you know, I got hit by a pitch playing baseball and oh, I thought you were going to say you got hit by the priest. I got hit by, <laughs> well, that too. I had a bad priest. I don't even want to tell you what I, I yeah. had psoriasis from him too. Uh, shout out Father Bill. Okay, that yeah. interesting. Yeah, our fans all about, wow, okay, so, wow, all right, so then then I want to tell you we got support groups Tuesdays and Thursdays. You want to come to those? We could come at those groups in You're a different way. You're about 40 years late on that support why group. Do we come, why do we come at these priests Maybe in a different way? Maybe you could have saved me from doing yes, I did if I would have been at <laughs> yeah. support group. That's, 40 years ago. That's what, yeah, like we bat some of these fucking priests around. I, yeah, because. I had some good priests too, though. Oh, yeah, I no, 100%. Say. We had good priests, but, you know, the bad ones. Father can, Bill, that's for you. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Father Bill, wow, coming at you. No, finally, now somebody's no, put Father some Bill heat. Father Bill was a good guy. No, Father Bill, my Father Bill was a bad guy. Oh, no. So let's no. put some heat on Father Bill. All right. Fucking that's on guy. Your, on your bill. My what do you think? All you, right. What do you think? You wear lemon shirts, you know, because you had a good childhood? I know that something was wrong with you when I came <laughs> I in here and I seen that shirt. I know. They told me, whatever you do, don't pour water on them. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't care. Um, I, uh, interesting. So, so, and then how, how much time did you do in prison? Uh, I did 10 years on this last bit out of Brazil. You know, I went to, you know, you went to jail in Brazil. Yeah. I was in Brazil, uh, uh, two years and seven months to be exact. Wow. I actually fought extradition to come back here cause I yeah. didn't want to face what I was facing here. Yeah. And I did pride it out about eight years. So I did about 18 years. How was so, prison in Brazil versus prison in the United States? Oh, it was great room service. I mean, it was, you know, <laughs> it was, right? Nah, it was a disaster. You know, you're in a third world country. It's, you know, yeah. it's like a concentration camp. There's a movie coming out. Actually, I just did that locked up abroad show. That'll you did that? Out. That'll be out. Yeah, it'll be out in the next couple of months. Interesting. And then we're, we're filming out of uh, Sweden. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not filming. There's guys that are filming playing actors of me and this guy, Klaus, that was one of my good friends. Right. And it's based off of his life more so in me as uh, his best friend. And so yeah. He, Maybe I'll get an audition for the movie. Oh, you want to play? You could play the guy that's getting raped in that thing. There was a good show. 100%. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll I don't think guy. you want that part. <laughs> I'll, I'll play that guy. <laughs> no, yeah. really, really. Seriously, it was a lot of, you know. Yeah. Guard, it was more the guards raping the inmates, not the inmates raping inmates. Interesting. So it's not what people think. It's kind of, you ever watch that uh, Midnight, I think it was Midnight Express it was called? No, I never Years seen. Years ago when the guy's in Turkey and, yeah. and, and they're trying yeah. to rape. But really, that's really That's really what it is. No, I know. I know. It's a, that's a real thing. You know, yeah. speaking, of, speaking of prison ass rape, what, what do you think the mafia thinks 
of aliens. What if you guys have, did you guys ever sit down when you guys were hanging out at the Bergen Fish uh, Club? I was with the guy Travis. You know the guy Travis, the famous case when they says that they were up in the woods and the six of them mm -hmm. uh, and he got abducted. Yeah. I actually had dinner with that guy. What? Yeah. What'd you guys talk about? Well, I couldn't understand. He was speaking alien now. <laughs> no, <laughs> no I, we spoke about really what happened to him and his experience and then all five or six of them. I think five out of six took like several lie detector tests from CIA, NSA, uh, FBI. They all passed them. Right. And he never tried to make money off it. So, right. You know, when I had a conversation with him, he's a nice guy, but he's a little off. You could see something happened to him. Really, I, I believed him. Right. And now all this stuff that's going on with the Navy, I really, me and my son, Matt, been following his stuff. Shout out, Matt. For, uh, yeah, hey, Matt. Yeah, how you doing, Matt? Maybe I'll play Matt one day in a movie. Oh, in Matt. the movie about your life, I'll play your son. Yeah, Matt's, yes, I did kind of guy. Yeah, Matt's, yeah. If I didn't control him, oh boy. So he's a tough, he's a tough guy yeah, as yeah, well, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't wear lemon shirts. No, but he's a good kid. <laughs> he's know. a great, of course. Oh, but no. I don't want him anywhere near that life. And you, <laughs> yeah, because here's the thing. Cause I he, in 18 years of, and I don't get any benefits either. Right. There's no disability. There's no. Well, do you think, what is your opinion now on it? Like, does it still exist in the way it used to or no? Because people say it doesn't, but it, I don't know if it does or it doesn't. What do you think? You know, I, I, I attack a lot of the mafia. I mean, there's some tough guys out there, but I attack a lot of them because mm -hmm. for the kid's sake, I try to give them the reality. That's why right. I'm always talking about myself of what I actually did. Right. So kids realize... I'm probably 1% of the, the whole mob that done, done right. what I've done violently. Right. right. The rest of them are full of shit for the most part. Yes. I mean, there's some, like I said, there's some tough guys. But I go through that litany of lists of, of rats. The famous, you know, uh, Joe Messina, boss, cooperated. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Whitey Bulger, cooperated. Right. Al Diaco, cooperated. These are all bosses. Yeah. You know, Ralph Natale in Philly, cooperated. Chucky right. Porter in Pittsburgh. So how do you have a thing about loyalty when everybody's cooperating. Gotti's kid was meeting the feds while I'm in Brazil. He cooperated. Yeah. His his right-hand man, Captain uh, Mikey Scores, he cooperated. Uh, whatever happened with Sammy Gravano, he cooperated. You know, so where is this thing about blood in and no blood out until you right. die? You know, it's all nonsense, and I don't want the kids to buy it. I get it. So, you know, I'm trying to get them to do what you do, even though you're nuts in a different way. I'm a du Yes. You know? So just, don't follow and, him. I changed that. Yeah, and follow I just, Felix. And I just want to like, I just want to like, if I was ever at the mafia, I would 100% cooperate. <laughs> I am, I'm Chrissy Cooperation. I would fold under questioning immediately. Um, no, okay. Oh, my, Pimp's got a question. Uh, do you ever think about how weird it is that maybe YouTube's the new mafia of this generation? Well, like, because yeah. they all get on YouTube. And they tell, my mother could do what they're doing. They get on, they all get on YouTube and they tell you about how I met Chris or how I met this guy or how I met Paul Castellano. But they don't tell the action they committed themselves. Why is that? So I'm the only guy that does that. And, I'm, and I tell everybody, I don't limit a question from anybody, from you guys. It's because I want to show these kids, maybe they did one thing. Maybe they want, took a ride somewhere. Maybe they were home sleeping while another guy they ordered. But they're not the ones doing the work. I right. Work. So I'm trying to show the kids that, you know, if I'm full of shit, bring your lawyers on, bring somebody else. But where are these guys that are on YouTube? Next week, I'm going to start bringing my mother on. She can say I ordered him to do this. And yeah. That. She can tell the same stories, really. We'd love to have your mother on the show yeah, as well so if she'd right. like to come on. She is a gangster, I got to tell uh, you. Yeah, we'd love to have her right tough. here. Mrs. A-Light, if you're watching, we'd love for you to be a guest. We will cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, always. Interesting. <laughs> you know, seriously, it was a lot of plots that, we, you know, when they asked me to hit uh, Gotti and, you know, his uncle. And they all. asked you to take out your own boss? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And I then, mean, that's part of the mob. But nobody, and then how do you listen, deal with that? you know that? what the problem is with the mafia? Yeah. You go to L.A. You just got back to L.A. Maybe yes. you came back with a pocket full of money. I'm your friend. I didn't, but. You're getting in a car. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's just assume you did. I came back, <laughs> I came back really down on Bitcoin. <laughs> I, my crypto portfolio oh you ain't kidding me everybody did. i got destroyed yeah okay so, you know yeah. If, you, if you let's pretend you made a lot of money there yeah so you get in a call <laughs> with me and i look at felix and i go geez he's got a hundred grand on him i didn't like him that much anyway we right. shoot him in the head take the, that's the, the reality of of that life right there is all betrayal yeah I mean, it's all that, betrayal it's not like i'm telling anybody something new i mean everybody understands this right and you know guys are killing their own brother in the mob so you know what is it yeah it, yeah you know you got but, guys like patsy conti you know he was uh yeah. he owned all the key foods his brother testified against him right so you know this is what you got in, got it. in, in the mob you know right but you would never kill anybody anymore 
Well, I carried some weapons with me all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You have to always. Should I empty my pockets? Do you I actually mean, really have a gun on you? You didn't want me when I came in. <laughs> I know. Do you really have a gun? I don't got a gun. But you do have a weapon. I always got weapons. <laughs> Okay, well, I just want to say, just I just want to say. I didn't trust you just in case. No. I told Felix when we walk in, if we see plastic on the floor, get ready. <laughs> and I just I just want to let you know. We are that, in Brooklyn. No, know. we are in Brooklyn. I just want to let you know, like, even though, like, you know, we do the show and, like, this looks like my apartment. Like, this is, you know, I don't really actually, like, live here. So, like, you know, if, if I say something to offend you over the next hour, just know, like, this is not, this is just a fake place. <laughs> uh, we don't live here. We don't live here. This is, uh, you know. Uh, I have one more yeah. Question. <laughs> yeah, so pimp, pimp, yeah, pimp, yeah. Is, how gonna... similar is it to sex? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm going to answer this. It depends. If it was my ex-wife, I would. <laughs> no, I, so before you do something like that, do you think yeah, about Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't think you think about it. You Either. just do it. I mean, during the trial, they said, what would you do? I said, I was eating a cheeseburger and having a... A chocolate pudding pie, and they says, "How do you know?" I says, "Because I used to love to eat that." They go, "Yeah, but you just killed somebody." Yeah. I go, "Yeah, it didn't change my appetite." But, but I really didn't understand. <laughs> I, I didn't change. Well, now I'm going to have cheese fries, you know. So you know, the truth is, I didn't really understand what they were getting at when yeah. you said that to me. Yeah. There's, I can't wait to get subpoenaed for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm on the good side now. No, okay, yeah, he's one of the good guys. But you're not a fucking rat, and you're not wearing yeah. a wire. Yeah. Like, yeah. Except yeah. the lav mic. Yeah, it's technically right. a wire, <laughs> but that's not that kind of wire. Yeah, um, so, but but so okay. So when you yeah, so so how many people you think roughly loosely loose how number? You're giving me that. See, everybody gives me that question. Which one? That question you're just gonna ask me. What, right what do you think I was gonna ask to finish. you? Finish. Roughly, how many people do you think you're hurt, shot, killed? Right? No, I wasn't gonna ask you that. Oh, how many people I invite out to eat? I was gonna <laughs> say how many people roughly you think you've had cheeseburgers and puddings with. Ah, that that's what I was gonna say. It. Yeah. That's, see, I wasn't going to, because I'm not a fuck, you know, I was going to come at you, I was coming at you in a different way. So, yeah. <laughs> so every show, what I try to do is go into a new guy, a new victim, either that I killed, shot, yeah. stabbed, batted, mm -hmm. uh, pistol whipped, robbed, mm -hmm. piped. Yes. And, you know, I do it on a regular basis because I'm trying to show the difference between me and every other guy that's out there talking. And some of them, uh, you know, and again, there's some of the guys out there talking are, are tough guys. Yes. You know, and I'm not, it's easy to shoot somebody, to be honest with you. People think it is. It is. I feel like it'd be very difficult for me, but... But the tough guy is the guy that goes in the room <laughs> yes. when the odds are against you. Got it. So it's easy to go into six guys. That's a punk move. Yeah. Me. When you go by yourself against six, yeah. then talk to So me. in some ways, I'm, I'm, I'm tough. You're pretty I, tough. I, I had I've you seen on. you go in there and fight your three kids. Exactly. There. Yeah, <laughs> you saw I put them all in timeout. I mean, listen, your son's pretty tough, and that baby you got is pretty, pretty Fucking tough. pretty tough. Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican you wife. Control, huh? Put, uh, uh, who can control no, Puerto Rican wife? No, I didn't say wife? that about your wife. Don't get me killed in here. I know. I said it about the baby. <laughs> well, that's what I also want to mention to you. If you get a call from, from Vin, her name's Vinny, Jasmine, that, you know, if she, oh, oh yeah, the garbage truck. Um. Do you, do you own that company? You no, know we're in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you get a call from Vinny, you know, that she wants, you know, you know you, you to take me out because she looked at my phone and saw, you know, she got, she's mad at me. Would you take me out or would you let me live? I mean, I, I mean, Vinny, you know, she, let's say, let's say she, 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 you I, know. I got to tell you, I think she's pregnant again, right? She's eight, eight and a half months. Oh, you got to go. I got to go, right? You got to take, <laughs> would you take care of my family though for me? Of course. I'd Thank take care you. Of That's I'm all not, I need. I'm not like the typical mob. They, they abandon the family. Here's the thing. Okay. So also you love boxing too. You love jumping around. We, you know, we, we saw you boxing, hitting the bag, great form. Um, I, you know, I, I said, I do cardio kickboxing twice a week. Um, <laughs> Do you think... But that's a woman's class. That don't count. <laughs> no, but it's good for aerobics. It gets my blood pressure down. Um, do you think that Logan Paul, the YouTuber, has any chance against Floyd Mayweather? Do you know uh, about this fight? Yeah, yeah. What Listen, you... Mayweather's one of the smartest, and I'm going to say it again, one of the smartest guys that promotes himself that I've ever seen in my life. Right. And no, he doesn't have a shot he against does. Mayweather. No, no, he, yeah. he's gonna, Mayweather's going to kill him. Oh, if he wanted to, you know, he's going to hold back. And now, how's this? Around. We used to talk about this also on, 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 the, on the old show, The History I mean, is, Do you think Floyd Mayweather killed his baby mama? That's what everybody says in the post that they think he killed his baby mama. That's what they say. They think, they think he killed her. As a guy, you know. Floyd, send me that money. No, okay, I, I, I was, yeah. <laughs> So John Day, like, killed Floyd's baby mother. Well, I'm here first. friends with Bobby Chaz. He's three-time champ. Right. Prince Bardi. I mean, a lot of guys that are right. in the fight business. Right. My friend Dennis, by the way, just won a, a fight out in Tampa, Florida. I got to give a shout out to shout Dennis. Shout out Dennis. And uh, so I love the fight game. For, you know, 
where, you know, and really, again, I got to give another positive. I know we're joking, but those kids that want to be tough guys, get in a ring like these guys. Yes. And, and do it there. Exactly. And if you want to fight Mayweather, you get very rich, so do yeah. it there. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or, you know, a lot of these guys, they've never been to prison. Prison is very tough. Prison is a very tough thing. Well, you know what? It's not even the physical toughness I keep talking yeah. about when I talk about prisons. It's yeah. the mental stuff right. that goes on. You know, like you're having a baby. Imagine being in prison and you're having a baby. Imagine, yeah. you know, yeah. God forbid something happened to somebody in your family and you're inside. Yeah. These are the emotional tough things that, you know, people, I've seen the biggest killers, tough guys crying in jail, crying over the phone. And because your reality yeah. is, and I want the kids to understand the human yeah. side of that. So I No, to, I know. I try to talk about that. I was at, just out of New York for three months. I felt like I was a prison in, in Studio City, California. I felt like I was in prison. <laughs> They got your shitty hotel. <laughs> yeah, like. yeah. Shout out Holly and Express. Okay, <laughs> speaking of prisoners, we got my co-host that comes on sometimes, TT Jerry. Come on in, TT. Is TT mic'd? <laughs> TT's mic. Where should we have TT sit? Come on in, hon. Okay. This is TT. Here we go. Hi. Hi. hi this. Is, okay, I'll sit over here. Is TT good here? Here's one of John A. Light's cards. It's got the Albanian flag on the back. Show the up. No, that's got his phone number. Show the Albanian flag. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. Keep put it in your butt. I know that's what you want to do anyway. Um, okay, <laughs> okay. So the reason why I thought it was great to have to have TT on. By the way, look at TT's new tits, everybody. What do we think of them? Excellent. There you go. Shout out Patreon money helping to pay for TT's. Uh, TT, you don't want to go to jail. Oh no, 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 my no, no, no. That, that's why. That's why I brought TT on, John. Oh. Fifteen years in prison. Did you do fifteen well, years in prison? Twenty-one years in prison. That's why I want we're, to have it on here in the states, or, or? yeah, no. He looks like he did it in Brazil because that's you. Yeah, he's got a fake ass. But <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> hold on. Oh, he's got a mic. Titi's ass blew out the mic. Yeah, blew it out. <laughs> Titi, follow Portuguese. Huh? No, I'm not Portuguese. Oh. No, Puerto Rican. This is my Puerto wife's Rican. uncle. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Puerto Rican from Sunset that's Park. That's my niece's wife. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm Jasmine's wife. <laughs> um, um, so, but the reason yeah. why I want to have it on is because is because you know you did time and TT did time, and I wanted to know you know obviously we know some differences, but I wanted to know if there were some similarities. <laughs> Things may have been a little different. Like for example, would you would you would you save the frozen sausages when they were given out for breakfast? Because that's something TT said that All she would like to, that you would like to do. It's a little different. So so TT. So what prison did you were you in? <laughs> what prison were you in? Same sex, right? Yes. How do you okay. Use the Yes, I mean, you know. Um, I was, yeah, I really, I really did like 21 years in my life in prison. Mm, honor. You know, first I did like four, then I did um, 15, then I did six more years. I was on Attica, Clinton, Auburn, or my oh, really? Any of those? I was all in no, no, state. He, he's in all, uh, in all the state joints. When you go, you were federal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, now well, he, I was in some state, but I was in the pens in Brazil. Oh, in, in Brazil? But in, in, here I was in, uh, you know, Los Angeles, I got locked up when I was young. Florida, Tampa, Philadelphia, Miami. And Brazil, Just you were in prison? Yeah, in, yeah. In Brazil. Well, how is it over there? How's the oh, prison over there? Yeah, bad. Really bad? Yeah, yeah, really bad. Conditions are, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, you, you know, you know, some of the different countries, you know, you, you don't have toilets. You go in a bathroom on the floor, in mm -hmm. a hole. So that's just one thing. And then, yeah. you know, the conditions uh, of uh, sanitary, right. uh, you know, disaster. There is no sanitary. Right. Oh so, you know, and there's no real lights in there. And it's, you know, it's right. like a... Oh, my God. So the prison's up here and upstairs like a piece of cake. It's, it's like, like a, a piece of... It's like a motherfucking um, um, motel or something. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it rains inside. I mean, you know, you got your sub right. below. I mean, it is like yeah. a motel because I've been in prisons. Even yeah. the officers let you, you know, get your shit off with another inmate in your little cell. You know, you yeah. pay them here and there. And they yeah. let you, you know... You could live your life in prison. You so know you can I'm... actually say the same thing I did. Yes, I did in, in a lot of things. You probably did a lot of things to be in jail for 21 years. 21 a years. Lot of what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? A lot think? of things. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, yes. I was a I'm gangster not... in prison. I was a girl in prison. I was a do in prison. But I sometimes. kind of. I didn't mean that. I did I meant the violence. Stuff. The violence. Oh, stuff. my yeah. God. The violence. Yeah, like what, what was the most violent crime you did? Because we're, we're just being very open and honest about all our crimes. I've, I've evaded taxes. Wow. <laughs> Biden's got a new team of guys yeah, come yeah, after yeah, you. Yeah, you know he's got a new team coming I know, out. they're probably, yeah. I didn't pay my taxes Why 2016. Guy, <laughs> 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 okay. One of them was this guy that used to call him Slim. He was real tall. So he kept harassing me all the time and everything. You, you know how they are in prison. Yeah. Especially me that I'm a transgender in prison. You know how they are some assholes. Boom. So, Did you, you have know, the wine punch for lipstick? 
Yeah. No, I used to get some real makeup. Hey, <laughs> a girl like me in prison. Was Hawaiian punch a thing that guys yes, would put Hawaiian makeup? punch with Vaseline. Yeah, Hawaiian, yeah, the yeah. color wow. pencils. Yeah, yeah. The color pencils, the crayons. We used to burn them, yeah. melt them, use some Vaseline, wow. put them on. Yeah. Hey, Vin, no Hawaiian punch anymore. <laughs> hey. We're done with the punch. <laughs> cover girl, if you want to look as beautiful as me, always you. Very beautiful. Easy, easy. Cover Titi, girl. Titi's very beautiful. Very that beautiful. That was the one in prison. <laughs> yes. Yeah. T yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. You go with the mic. Stop. Put because she keeps putting it by her butt. Just here. Put it over here. There we go. There's TT. Okay. Um. Okay. So. 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 Yeah. So go ahead. So the yeah. slim. What happened with slim? So you know he kept fucking with me and everything. He said. Oh, I'm gonna stab you. You know, in prison, once they say they're gonna stab you, yeah, you better right. get your shit and right. go after that motherfucker before he gets you. Yeah. So I went, I got my little ice pick, and I went, to, I went up to him. He was. You went like this, my little ice pick. You went like this. It was, this big. <laughs> nah, it was about this big. It, it was. A, you know, I got stabbed in the head with an ice pick. With an ice pick? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my it god. Might have been yeah. you. <laughs> nah, it happened years ago yeah. on the street. And, um, <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I took out my ice pick, he was right against the wall. I stabbed that motherfucker three times right in the eye. Boom, 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 three times in the eye. You know what they call him now? Dead eye. Yeah. I was just gonna say they call him dead eye because I know another guy, Brian, who was an AB though. They call him dead eye. He lost his eye. Yeah. So, Maybe it was Maybe it's TT's cousin that stabbed him. I don't know. No, I don't know, really. He got yeah, stabbed. I had no. stabbed a couple, couple of guys. I mean, I had gotten stabbed like about six times in my body. You know, going gun to gun. You know, you got to go gun to gun with these yeah, guys. Yeah. You take no shit for nobody. Right. Mm. And I mean, I was the type of person I never took no shit for nobody. You know, I had to survive in there. Ain't nobody gonna come and try to back my ass up. Yeah. Especially yeah. because I'm a track. You know, yeah. transgender. You know how they work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they they act funny and all kind of shit. But once by them by, by themselves, they're like, hey, what's up, baby? You know, on the yeah, down yeah, low yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. not a gangster anymore. Right. You know, they're a fucking little bitch. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. But right. Yeah, I've been through. I like Titi's look today too because normally when Titi comes in, she either comes in as yeah. As I didn't have my wig on. She didn't either. have her wig on. Normally Tio comes in all like, for example, when hair. she came to the podcast the last time, she came in wearing my clothes. She left wearing my wife's clothes. <laughs> but today, she's a nice mix match. She's 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 guy guy then girl, yeah. girl again. It's nice. It's nice. I did and both good shoes. Mr. A line has great shoes. Titi yeah. Jerry has great shoes on. So guys, girls, you know. I was listening when you were talking about that movie that you plan to make or whatever. Yeah. About talking about that rape, that rape. Um, oh, the, 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 he said I, I could play the prison. No, I would love to be in that part, the rape part. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I do good in that part. You do. <laughs> Go ahead, people rape me. <laughs> it's on you. <laughs> Take it off. Oh my God, it's went off the rails. This is crazy chaos. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So, so, and, but also, TT, TT, focus. So also, I am trying, I'm trying to focus, but geez. talking about that rape part. Yeah. It's like, hey. Somebody hello? get TT a wet wipe. <laughs> um, so, TT, but you also said in prison that you met one of somebody who worked very closely with John oh, Gotti. Yeah. So, I didn't know if I maybe Mr. A. Like this knew him. guy, he was in, in the hospital at that time because it was in Mohawk. Mohawk Correctional Facility, I used to work in a hospital, and that's the hospital where they send everybody from upstate. Right. They send them there when they're real sick. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there was this guy, and I started talking to him, and he started talking to me that he was working for John Gotti. I forgot his name, but he told me that he was working, I forgot his name. Tony what Don't tell me that's all the information you have. How many people Tony I Rampino? Have. Was it Tony Rampino? Big guy? Yeah, he was tall, tall skinny. skinny. Yeah. yeah, it's Tony. Tony Roach, we call him. Tony Roach. Yeah. He was a tough guy, Tony. He's a nice guy. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he could play good basketball. He's a good handball player. He was a good athlete. He was tall, skinny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's him. He's a tough guy. He's a, you know, certain guys. I have met so many people in prison that I just forget the names. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. He was a tough guy, though. He was a tough yeah. guy. Uh, so, wow, this, he nailed it. So, Tony Roach. And he's, he's still with us? He's still alive? No, he passed, uh, no, he passed away, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, so, he was nice he to did, you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, he was nice to me and everything. He was talking to me about John Gotti and everything. He told me one thing about John Gotti that what he used to love the most was being a gangster. John, that's what he told, John, he told me about John Gotti. Oh, my God, that man was crazy. The the most that he used to love about his life was being a gangster. Yeah, yeah. Is that true? That is true. Yeah. I'm talking about the father now. Yeah, he's, he, he loved yeah. being a gangster. We're he, talking about the, the John Gotti, the, the, the Teflon Don. Yeah, we're talking about the Teflon The, the number, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know John Gotti. There he is. I, there he is. You know what I got to be, and maybe you, you might have been here too for this, John. John. When I was a kid, I was like a little kid, and I forgot where we were. I, it must have been, I guess, the Howard Beach Cross Bay Boulevard Fair. Remember they used to have that For fair? Sure. Yeah. So 
one time I and I know I know for a fact because my dad said I was a little kid and my dad was like, oh, look, that's John Gotti over there. And he was handing out cotton candy to the kids at this fair. That could have been John Travolta playing John Gotti. That, you don't think that they was a real John Gotti? <laughs> no. Because my dad, that's why I wanted to bring it up, because my dad said it was John Gotti. Let's tell you that. Give me that, Mike. Let me <laughs> yeah. tell you, Father. Yeah. There's no way John, John Gotti. Gotti was handing out cotton candy to the kids <laughs> on the Cross Bay Boulevard <laughs> no Festival. No way. See, Dad? Dad, it's not true. It's not true. <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, because I, but I, so you guys. You might have been shot, shooting a rocket officer on July 4th, that maybe. Yeah, but but yeah. you guys wouldn't go to that festival and hand out cotton candy to the kids. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, well, I you just. You sure there wasn't nothing in that cotton candy? You I, weren't getting no, high. I, I remember being eight, nine years old, uh, you know, holding my dad's hand, water, walking through the thing, and because, you know, a lot of the a lot of the guys from your guys' crew, because you, you're yeah, Ozone yeah, Park, right? Yeah, yeah. So we would always be in Howard Beach, Ozone Park area, so maybe he missed, maybe, you know. Did you ever go to that feast and hand out? Yeah, we all went to the feast. I so mean, we'd walk through. You'd walk through, so, so it's. it's I, he, I don't remember him ever walking through, and he didn't hand out cotton candy. He wouldn't walk through. He might have handed out pistols, but he didn't <laughs> yeah, hand yeah. out cotton candy. Maybe that's TT, let me ask you a question. Have you ever experienced hair loss? Yes. Really? I, I go like in my entrance and like in the middle. Right. I lose my hair for stress, a lot of stress. In well, here, I got something hair. that's going to help you out. Uh, Cause something that's going to help you out where you don't have to wear a wig no I more. I try to use garlic and all that shit. That shit, that shit helps, but that's not shit no. that's helping. No, I got even something better than garlic <laughs> for you. Garlic and all that. that shit you ready for this? Me. Listen, yeah. you ready for this? Keeps.com. Keeps.com. I'm going to get a few. All you got to do is go to keeps.com, which is a, it's, it's a, it's a, a website and a company that will help you. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is key. So treatments take treatments will take four to six months to see Have results. you tried it? Yes, and look at me. But you have hair already. Because you never of Keeps, because I went to Keeps.com. That's what happened. I went to Keeps.com because I'm preventing hair loss. And it's one of these things. It's FDA approved. People love it. It's been working for everybody. All you got to do, listen to me, baby. All you got to do is go to Keeps.com slash chaos. That's Keeps.com, uh-huh. K-E-E-P-S. Slash. dot com slash chaos c h a o s and you're gonna get your first month free so one month free if you go to keeps dot com slash chaos two out of three men are gonna experience uh, hair loss and you know yeah, t- yeah. and fifty million men in the uh, suffer from uh, male pattern baldness right. but not you anymore baby tt I'm telling you you're gonna go out there keeps dot oh com would be so great if that does work I will love you forever. Hundred percent. Well, we're gonna get it. I'm we're just gonna, losing a lot of. We hair. got it for you, baby. It's coming and discreet packaging. You're very used to discreet packaging. Discreet packaging. <laughs> so nobody's ever gonna know that you got this hair loss stuff. And uh, treatments start low, very, very low cost. Only ten dollars a month. And keeps offers all types of stuff. And uh, uh, they have a, a virtual doctor. So a doctor is going to consult you and medication is going to be delivered straight straight to your door every three months. So a doc, you're going to have the doctor's orders right there on Zoom. They'll tell you about it. They're going to um, deliver the medication discreetly. So nobody's going to know like, oh, T.T. Jerry has hair loss problems. No, no, no. You just go to keeps.com slash chaos. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash chaos. And you're going to get your first month free. Great. Yep. And that's all you got to do. Okay, though. Are you going to do it? I'll try it, yes. Do you even have a computer? Uh, no, I don't right now. At the moment, I got one, but it's not connected. Okay, we're going to connect it, and we're going to get your hair back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. TT, what yeah. about with therapy? Uh-huh. I got a solution for you because you were talking about, you know, how we both talk to therapists or whatever. I've been going to BetterHelp.com uh-huh. and talking to a therapist. Best therapist I ever had. They helped me so much. All online with COVID and everything like that, you don't have to worry about it. They got all types of expertise, uh, yeah. all types types of experts. They got people that could talk about from the times you had in jail. They got people to talk about with the sausage in your ass. They got people to talk about me having anxiety. They got all different types of therapists that can handle anything. They're committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches and they make it very, very easy for you. Yeah. So we're going to go, because if um, you said you were looking for a therapist, we're yes. gonna, I'm going to get you hooked up with one at BetterHelp. Yeah. Yeah, you could talk about all, whatever you want to talk about. about. Anything you want to talk about. Anything you want to talk about. What's one thing you want to talk to your therapist about? They'll do it. Okay. That sounds great. That sounds great. Yeah. Do you want to do it? Sure. Okay. So I'm going to, I got an offer for you. If you go to betterhelp.com slash chaos, that's C-H-A-O-S, betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash chaos, you're going to get 10% off your first month. Okay. So 10% off your first month. So that means that it doesn't matter, you know, what you're going through. If you don't have the money, whatever, you're going to get 10% off. They still Just, give you 10% off. Just put the promo Just code chaos. Right. That's all you got to do. Okay, dog. That sounds great. Betterhelp.com. Betterhelp.com. What do you think is one thing you need help with right now? Everything. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, everything, right? So betterhelp.com is going to, it's affordable. Everything. It's online counseling. Um, you know, th- you're going to get timely responses. I'm telling you, if you need help right now for everything, go to betterhelp.com. Get hooked up. Promo code chaos, 10% off your first month. It's going to be it. beautiful, baby. I'm going to go to betterhelp.com and tell them I want to transition to be a woman just like you. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, here we go. Here's another question I want to ask you. Rudy Giuliani's son, Andrew Giuliani, running for governor of New York. What do you think of that? Because we know Giuliani with the RICO Act. Um, other, but would you vote for Rudy? I'm kicking him to the side. So, oh, oh, yeah. I'm being T. T. the new governor. T.T. Jerry <laughs> wants to run for mayor of New York, so we're going to try to help her. Listen. Anybody's oh. better than Andrew Cuomo and and that's and what I was trying to get. At. That's what I was trying to get at because I feel the same. Cuomo and De Blasio. I mean, I you feel gotta like, get rid of these two idiots. So so that that's what I want to ask you. Even is it is it is it to the point where if you would you would vote vote for Rudy Giuliani's son if you could vote? Yeah, I'm. A- <laughs> let's in a hypothetical situation where you let could legally vote. Right. I can read. I could be able to vote. They won't let me vote. No. I'm the next but listen, the law is the if, law. If Gotti was around still, <laughs> De Blasio and Giuliani, De Blasio and Cuomo wouldn't be around. I was going to say, if, if oh seriously, De Blasio would, and Giuliani would have I been seen in a different about way. That. Okay, go ahead. He would have definitely, right? I, you know, I know John. He would have definitely said, "Go do something to these guys." To, There's to, no way he would allow what's going on now. No, there's right. some really good points about him when he was around, mm-hmm. and and that's one of them. He would have never allowed this going so on. So he would have never reacted. John Gotti would have never allowed. You're saying uh, 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 Cuomo and De Blasio to ruin New York the way they have. No, it wouldn't have. Listen, there's a different respect for like a Giuliani or somebody, sure, or Bloomberg or any of these guys that you know they might have opinions left, right, doesn't matter. But they ran the city and these neighborhoods in a good way for a positive. Right. You know, f- this guy's these two guys are clowns. That's clowns. like Abbott and Costello. I mean these. Yeah. And they both point at each other and blame it. Listen, Cuomo killed everybody in nursing homes. Sure. And they're still talking about women, what he did ab- abuse. Okay, that's bad. But it ain't the same as abusing all these people in nursing homes. I know. That's brutal. That's brutal stuff. So that that's so. interesting. That's interesting that you you um you would you would still vote for Andrew Giul- uh, Andrew Giuliani, his son. Yeah, um I I, I, I I was I was interested to hear to hear what you thought. I know, I think that they should let you vote. I mean, why not just let you vote? You, you've changed Why your whole life. You we'll leave it to Biden. Felons can't vote. <laughs> but, but Biden, they want to change that. But we could vote. No, you can't vote. <laughs> yes, I can. He said I can. Yes, I could. You can. No, you can't vote. vote. You can vote in like polls on Twitter and stuff, but not. Twitter. <laughs> no, not. No, no. I'm saying legally, federally, felons can't vote. And we, I'm no, saying it's but wrong. I heard that passed a new law that we could vote. Yeah, but that's Biden. But 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 listen, but he's trying to pass it. But Biden doesn't even know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give him one of these watches. <laughs> Send him this watch. Can I have my watch? Hey, this is actually checking. Like <laughs> this is for my heart. Actually, that's why I'm wearing. Oh, it. that's for your heart. Yeah. What happened to your heart? I was going to baseball by Pasquale, and I got a little excited. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. No, TT. No, you. Pasquale, I'm joking. Pasqu- yeah, if, if you're watching this, Pasquale, which most likely from the emergency room. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, but, but. Um, I have one question. Yeah. Did you have a favorite crime that you committed? <laughs> yeah. Anything I made money on. <laughs> <laughs> Is there one that sticks out or just, you know? Uh, you know, it was one really funny one that we did. Yeah. Uh, we did an armored van. Mm-hmm. And we dressed up as cops. Right. It, it's in my book. Was I it believe, Halloween? My next book. Oh. No, it really. I really was. <laughs> it really was funny because <laughs> I try to rob the guy. I pull him over. We got a cherry. We stole a, a police car. Okay. So the guy's driving for me. We pull a, the van over after his tent store. And when I'm pulling him over, I'm giving him a ticket. And then I'm going to handcuff him and take his money. Right. He's on right. guard by himself. And a real cop car pulls up behind him from Suffolk right. County. Right. And he gets on a loudspeaker and he goes, uh, can you come back to my car? And I'm like, one second, one second. So I tell the guy in the van, go. Right. But meanwhile, I just took his registration and license and I gave it to my driver. Right. And I told him to go. So the cop's just sitting there and he's like, I just told the cop car to go. He yeah. went, he didn't know what to do. Then I stand there with the van. I told him to go. Now he's standing, but I'm in, a, in his way. Right. So I'm standing like right in front of him. He can't go nowhere. Right. And he's like, what are you doing? And then I you know, and I give him a bullshit story and then whatever. And he gets me in a car and he thinks he's helping me. And I tell him some nonsense that the guy cut me off. And yeah. So when we get on the other side. I says, I left my wife and kids in the car. So I jump out of the car. I start running. <laughs> he gets a cherry on and I, I run across the highway the other way. What's a cherry? 
you know, the, uh, the, the, the lights. Oh, the lights. Okay. So, but we're in a legitimate cop car. We stole yeah. it. Yeah. So, you oh know, <laughs> so this guy's like, he doesn't know what's going on. And then I run across the highway. So he goes off the exit because we're up by the exit and he's swinging around. Yeah. As he's going back off the exit, I double back the other way. Yeah. I ran, I ran into a store. I changed clothes. I bought clothes, whatever. I go out and they got roadblocks and I right. got, obviously I got away. Just another day at well, the office. Don't lock me up for that now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But anyway, they had about, uh, when I robbed it, well, I almost robbed it, had about eight, 900,000 cash in there. Wow. Back in those days. Back, imagine you would have that cash. Today, you, hey, would put it right in, you would put it right in Bitcoin. I would have bought you cotton candy myself. That's, I what, that's a lot candy. of cotton candy. Titi, what about you? What's the, what's, what's the crime you're most proud of? None. None? You're not proud of any of it? Nope. But let not me all the crimes, but the shit that I did in there. Yeah, You're I'm more... proud of because I defended my own self. I stood up for my own self. And... We want to know what happened to Slim. You left us without the ending of the story. Well, yeah, Slim. Oh, is no, Slim what happened us? to Slim? Huh, Slim? It, is Slim with us? Dead Eye is Dead Eye with us? Or Dead Eye dead... is I don't know what the hell he's at right now. But he's he's, de he's dead. Let's hope he's vaccinated. No, they call him Dead Eye now. <laughs> That's one thing. Though. That's, let's hope he's doing I his part. So to many, stop I, the I had this so much shit in prison <laughs> that people would never forget. I was like a celebrity. You're like a celebrity out here. But the whole state, the whole state knew who I was. They used to call me J-Lo. Did I ring the oh, bell? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ding, ding. Yeah. No. A-Rod, you're not, single now. I did uh, not meet you in the library. You got J-Lo back. <laughs> they used to call me J-Lo. Everybody goes to the library and sneaks in with, you know, like, you know. That, that's just what happens, huh? I didn't sneak in the library. You didn't sneak how, in. How is it in, in Brazil over there with the transgender? Because I know they got some up there and everything. Are they accepted Listen, in the prison? Two, there was two transgenders that came into our units right and they tried to the one really seriously had all kinds of operations and and hormone and things yeah. yeah and all the guards everybody thought it was the most beautiful she was she yeah was really pretty the other one was a it was a horror show oh, man. <laughs> so wow <laughs> brazil prison sounds fun oh it was uh, a good time it was really a good time good. now now um um but you know what tt you say that that you regret going to prison and i understand you know the 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 time away but you did in prison john T.T. Well, T.T. had a little more fun. The rest was really. I mean, T.T. had a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, because if you I put did. me in a, in, in a woman's prison for 18 years, I wouldn't be complaining. Yeah, what, I would want to go. I might no stay. Yeah, like, yeah. Get out. No, get I'm out. staying. No, no. no. And they were trying to put me in a woman's prison because now these days, you're allowed to choose if you want to go to Bedford Hills. Or you want to go to a men's prison because they got a Bedford section. Hills is a woman's prison. Yes. Okay. They got they got a section now for transgender. Well, I'm going to fix that. Honestly, you imagine? Okay, say a guy's going to go to prison. I don't want to go to Bedford. Hills. But not you. But uh -huh. other guys might yeah. say, okay, I'm going to be transgender now. So no, I got to do 22 years. But they're going to send me to a woman's no, prison. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Got, no. Oh, yeah, honestly, to be honest no, with you, it's not easy because you, you got to. Oh yeah, but you're a week early. Don't worry, take me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have in your system and your bloodstreams and everything. You gotta have extra genes and everything. You gotta I'll have it before I'm going to jail. I guarantee you. I'm expelling it. My wife, Vin, she would, if I got sent to a women's prison, she would commit a crime to get into that prison and make sure I don't look I at know. any of the hey, fucking I'll girls. You. you know what? <laughs> For the rest of the mob out there, you wanna stop writing? Get everybody to go to women's prison. Women, that's yeah, what it is. Don't again. say anything. Yeah. Um, Whenever I'm, you commit a crime, just make sure you say you're transgender before going to prison. Right. <laughs> yes, you don't want to go to a male prison. Good advice. Honestly, if I ever got sent to prison, that's the first thing I'd do is I'd drop my pants and I'd be fully tucked back. I'd be like, like this. Send me to the women's prison. <laughs> Doing the praying mantis, right at Rikers. Like that. Harriet Tuckman. <laughs> no, but but TT, TT actually, we have it up. TT uh, befriended son of Sam in prison. Yeah, I'm that was really a fan. And she's that alluded to that maybe something went on, but she doesn't want to say legally. But we think she hooked up with son of Sam Did in you prison. Really hook up with him? No, <laughs> that's it. Was too small. <laughs> but you saw son of Sam's. Pee Did you see son of Sam's pee pee? Too small. They it got too much off on the uh, on the uh, circumcision. That's fine. Just for chat and everything, huh? Right, when just, they circumcise them, they cut them yeah. off too, too much, too maybe. Much. Too yeah. much. <laughs> so you had too, nice, too much. No, but TT, we want to just do a little follow up. You had a nice. You had nice conversations with son of Sam in prison. Yeah. Nice I combos. Nice conversation with Prince. I had a whole bunch of conversation with Campbell, too. You remember Campbell, that guy that <laughs> choked his girlfriend in Central Park? Oh, Campbell? Oh, having yeah. sex with her. He was having wait, sex Wait, wait, that's a big kid. The yeah, yuppie, yeah. Yuppie, 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 whatever, yeah, yuppie. Oh, yeah, let, let's pull him up. Campbell, you... Yeah. Uh, Campbell, was uh, Campbell uh, uh, on Central Park. He you charged with the slang in Central Park? Yeah, I think they gave me 15 years for that. 
Okay, and what, what was, was his, his name? name Something. Again, uh, his name was Campbell. Tt. No, I thought it was something. That's else. his last name is Campbell. What was his first name? I don't Central know. Central Park you killer. Know, he was a yuppie killer. Central Park. Central. Oh yes, yes, yes. Actually, yeah. actually. Um, choke her to death having sex with her. In Robert Park. Chambers. Robert, Robert Chambers. 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 I told you so you wasn't Campbell. Camp. That's the soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Chicken soup is soap. so bad it's criminal. Chicken soup. <laughs> okay, so Robert Chambers. You, you, so what did Chambers have to say about, about life and things? And is, did he, he really get the vaccine? Is he, he stopping really, the spread? No, he really didn't <laughs> talk too much about his crimes or anything. We used to play just a lot of softball together. And all now, TT, let me, let me just be honest with you. I'm just going to say what people are thinking. We've obviously put up a picture of Robert Chambers, handsome kid. What, yeah, he did, did he step into the library with you? You know, we just want to know if you were in the library. Not with... the library, but probably the shower house. The okay. Staff house. There you go. Because yeah. hey, I he, get he it. He would have got the yes I did for the, sure. The yes I he did. He was in jail. Yeah, really, I would have hurt him. You would have. You would have hurt Chambers. Yeah, Why? 100%. Just because of the face. Because what he did to the girl oh, and the face too. He's full of shit. Well, yuppie. How about he okay? The girl. So, he had a good DeFell. defense. DeFell. But DeFell. I, the poor family. Huh? Rob, Ronald DeFeo Jr., the Amityville Horror House guy, T.T. also went to prison with him. Would he get hurt in prison? I don't know that story, but I know this story, and I know Son of Sam. But I was going to ask you a crazy question. Yeah. Yes. Is, did he seem normal to you, Son of Sam? That's a stupid question. <laughs> He's listening to the dogs. Everybody oh, yeah. in there seems normal. Once they're in there, they don't look like they really committed those kind of crimes. Right. Yeah, but these are really sick crimes. So, and, so and I'm joking about that poor girl died in, in Central Park. Yeah. No. Here's the thing. I'm looking to buy a house now. It's April. So what does that mean? Raining. There's, you know, April Fool's, you know. And what's the big thing? Taxes. You got to pay your taxes. Nobody wants to deal with it. Policygenius.com just makes it all better, okay? Because what it does is, is it balances it out. You can consider shopping for home and auto insurance, okay? You can do that. You can shop for home and auto insurance. You can get coverage for all these things. You can... Policy Genius, you know what they did? They saved customers $1,055 per year by reshopping their home and auto coverage. That's what they did. So if you are just sitting there and you're like, ah, I don't like my home and auto coverage. It kind of sucks. I feel like I'm paying too much. I'm, I'm looking at my taxes at the end of the year and I'm like, ugh, what am I doing? Policy Genius is the way to go. Policygenius.com, all you do is go to policygenius.com. They compare rates from America's top insurers from Progressive to Allstate, and they find you your lowest quotes. So if you go to policygenius.com, you have to know 100% that whatever that number is, is the absolute lowest you're going to pay for home and auto insurance anywhere in the world because policygenius.com does the work for you. They, you will not leave their website feeling like a fool. They save the customers $1,055 per year com compared to their current home and auto policies. That's a lot of money. I'm telling you, go to Policy Genius when it comes to insurance. It's nice to get it right. Get it right, get it tight. Policygenius.com. That's their slogan. Get it right, get it tight. <laughs> Policygenius.com. If you want to get the lowest home and auto insurance, do it. I Like I said, I'm looking to buy a house right now. I'm on Policygenius.com every day looking for the lowest rates. So we haven't found them yet, but baby, they're coming. Policygenius.com. Go there, get it right, get it tight. The Buffy Comforter, I can't say enough about the Buffy Comforter. My girlfriend's pregnant right now. She literally, she this is her third child. She's saying that this pregnancy is getting easier and easier every day since we got the Buffy. I'm, dude, I'm telling you, she used to night sweat. You have to understand how much she used to night sweat. I mean, it would be like literally somebody took her in the middle of the night, threw her in her pool, and then put her back in the bed. Gross. Covered in night sweat. Gross. No more night sweats because the breeze Buffy regulates the temperature. And for all you vegans out there, it's... It's 100% plant-based design. Wow. The you breeze can eat is, the sheets. It's made of eucalyptus fabric inside and out. It's softer than cotton. It, it naturally suits the skin. It's earth-friendly. It's hypoallergenic. It's cruelty-free. It brings I'm wellness. telling you. This is ridiculous. It's full of eucalyptus to breeze. Don't let it near a koala bear. You can try a comforter in your own bed for free. Not Sal, because I haven't sent him one yet. They're sending it to me. If you don't love it, you return it at no cost let me tell you something right freaking now buffy if you're just going to scroll down a little bit pippy buffy is one of those things where i'm telling you it got sent to the house at first i was like what is this the buffy because you're thinking buffy the vampire slayer you're thinking yeah. what does buffy mean and yeah. then it it's this beautiful bedding i put it down i took a three-hour nap my kid was walking around the house my five-year-old she turned on the oven i had no idea because i'm gonna sleep on the buffy. are you serious sleep on the buffy uh, i thought of buffy chickens at first right no tell from my old neighborhood Okay, here we go. 
If you go to Buffy.co, because listen to me, a company like Buffy doesn't have time to put the N M in. Yeah. It's Buffy.co, C-O, and you enter Hey Babe. That's H-E-Y-B-A-B. You ready for this? Yeah. $20 off. $20 for a Spanish-speaking audience, $20 Yeah, that's off. A, Andrew Jackson? Buffy.co without the M. Buffy.co, enter Hey Babe, H-E-Y-B-A-B-E, $20 off. It's unbelievable. Sal doesn't know what I'm talking about because he didn't get the Buffy. I did. No, but 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 no. But uh, what I want to ask you seriously is: is as uh, in jail, a guy like that comes and commits a crime, he's going to get for doing that to a defenseless woman. He would get his ass beat in prison for that. You really would have no problem beating his ass for that. Listen, I got you. Want to give you a quick story? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm in Hillsboro. Okay. A guy comes in. He asked me for a pencil. I didn't know. I didn't know his case. My friend's upstairs. Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. He got life, and he says to me, "Why are you giving this guy a pencil?" Right. And I says, "What are you talking about?" He says, "He raped a two year." And a three-year-old, it was his best friends of girls, kids. He gave him VD and whatever, boy and a girl. Oh, my God. So I says, you got to be kidding me. He goes, no. And uh, so I went into the, I got a mop. You know, they got the mop yeah. handles. Yeah. And I, I put it across his head. And then I started just beating him in, in, uh, in the county. So I split him open good. Yeah. And the cop that's on duty at the time is, because his camera, it's all cameraed up. And uh, he's looking at me, and he turns the other way. So, I, in other words... Yeah. Do whatever you got to do. And then later on, the guy screaming and crying. It's him. He did it. Then they put him in the sally port. And it took him about two hours to get him to the hospital. They right. let him, you know, they were letting him bleed. They were letting right, him. Right, 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 right. So, you know, they get the business on both sides. When Good. They, when they do that to him. That's real justice. Yeah, it is justice. Yeah. Do you, because, because I do feel like, and I've said this before, like, there's a lot of problems that I think have uh, have happened. Like I, I can only speak for New York that I've seen, like maybe with pandemic stuff or some bullshit, you know, bullshit. Otis that goes Davis, by the way. That's my good friend. What is his name? Otis Davis Otis was da my friend that told me, you know, Otis basically he was telling me go hurt him. So I did. You know. Good, good. And Otis Thanks, Davis, Otis. hopefully you listen to the podcast in prison. Um, because he's in, got life, right? Yeah, got life. But, but they can listen to the podcast in prison. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so hopefully you are. Great. I hope he is. Okay. Um, I feel like if the mafia was what it was, let's say in the 80s and 90s, we'd actually have less problems in the city than more. Do you agree? Oh, I'm really dead serious about yeah. Gotti. You know, a lot of good things about Gotti as, as a boss because as a community stuff, this stuff went and went on in our neighborhoods. They wouldn't even think of coming in. No. If this went on, any of this crazy shit with the listen, he would definitely put us on, guys. Nobody and was rioting in your neighborhood. Listen, if, if, the Blasio, like, you know, I was at a, uh, an event with the Blasio and a lot of the police officers and, you know, we were all taking pictures, shaking hands. And when he went over, he didn't know who I was. He went over because he and everybody else shake my hand. He went to shake my hand. I go, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love and to do I that. And then uh, I was on uh, another show and they asked me about the city. Uh, remember that show I was on? Um, Benny on the Block. Benny on the Block. I did Benny on the Block. He didn't know who I was. I was, was walking in the city. He asked me to talk for him. Right. And then he realized it was me. Right. Oh, I abused the Blasio again. Yeah. What? And this idiot saying there's no crime in the city now. <laughs> it's through the roof. I don't know what city he's in. I know. It's the fucking worst. I know. And, 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 uh, and you know, TT, when TT got out of, TT did all this time in prison. As soon as TT comes out, boom, pandemic hit. The whole city got shut down. TT, the pandemic. You know what happened in the pandemic? No buses and trains had social distancing. No. But they did it in restaurants. But here's the best thing with this. this he's really got a... Uh, uh, the Blasio, you smart guy. You close down indoor dining to make outdoor dining to close it in and close it. Yeah. yeah. And it's worse. Yeah. So you don't want to spread the virus, you just spread it worse no. if there is. He just whatever. took away parking spaces. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, all he yeah. did. That's all you did. Yeah, right? It's the craziest thing I've yeah. ever seen. You can yeah. eat in that little box outside that they enclose, but you can't yeah. eat in a nice restaurant yeah. that's spread out. Yeah. Put this, the buses and trains, you can't get COVID on on the way into work. No. This is amazing. This is yeah. amazing, John. That Yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, so let me ask you this. This is just, I mean, this is just a dream come true to have just, just to have, just to have mommy and daddy here yeah. on the podcast. Let's I just love it. This is it. I love it. This is it. Family pick. Hey. hey. I love it. Yes. Yeah. I love it. All right. Yeah. I mean, that was crazy. John A. Light, he had to go really quick. Um, he got a call and he said, yo, I got to go. So I was like, all right, we don't ask no questions. And him and this guy, Felix, just left. But now it's just me and you, TT. Hello, it's just me and Chrissy. Now, now that he's not here, because I didn't want to cause any problems. I mean, yeah. what a good looking guy, right? Is that your oh, type? Yeah. Is John A. Light your type? Yeah, he's yes. for older guy, yeah. Yeah, Venity is he, even he, saying he. yes in the back. Venity is saying Yeah, he yes. was my type of guy. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really into white guys, but there's certain of white guys. That's there. racist, TT. <laughs> it's, not, it's not being racist. Like, I love everybody. 
Except white I, guys. No, <laughs> I love white guys. I love everybody. Everybody. Right. I love them. I love everybody. So John, but to have a relationship or something, you know, yeah. I prefer to. Yeah. Black, you know. Yes. But you know, so, everybody so got their own preference. Everybody likes to. You know, but I would date a white guy. Why not? Why so not? I, I think honestly, the white guys are handsome, To be honest too. with you, so do I. I, I, I I'm going to say this look loud. Look at Pimp. Look, look at how pimp. handsome Pimp is. Gorgeous. 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 Look Gorg at you. Um, Vinny is so lucky. Look at Vin you. But you know what, TT? I got to be yeah. honest with you, and I'll say this loud, and I have no fear in it. I prefer black women. Black woman. <laughs> oh, she's coming out with a bat. I'm out of here. <laughs> she's coming out with a bat. <laughs> 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 That's Vinny. No, what? <laughs> what? Jesse's coming with a bat. <laughs> I, no, no, because TT. No, because TT was saying that he prefers yeah. black men, and I was saying that I prefer black women because you know. Then why are you here? What? What do you mean? Because he loves you. Yes. You're the woman of his dreams. Yes. You're the woman of but his you kids. Prefer a black woman. No, I don't. No, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. I meant he to didn't say mean that. It like I that. meant to say that like I black women are nice too. And uh, now Vinny has he a baseball bat. Got, Did you get that from let John? Let me get that bat. No, Vin. Wait, wait. Give no, come here. Come here, Vinny. Real quick. Give me that bat. Ah. Boom. Boom. No, Vin, I, I want to ask you a question. Come here. He meant right here. to say he likes black cockroaches. Yes, I do. <laughs> but uh, but we have brown cockroaches in here because you know I'm into brown right now. Um, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Now that, now that, that, can you, can we, are you seeing, are you getting her belly in the shot? I feel like you, you can't see you. It's just, you're, um, are you, because now that John A. Light left, did you think he was, because you said he was handsome when you saw him on TV. What did you think of him in person? I didn't come out. You didn't come out and see him? No. Oh, really? You, yeah. 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 I'm busy nesting. I'm doing like the bedroom while you're talking about I'm preferring black women. Well, and I and I told, and I already I already cleared it with John that if you ever want to get rid of me, you can't hire him because he said he wouldn't kill me no matter what the price was. And I, he said if it was over a hundred thousand, he would, but I'll make sure that you can't get a hundred thousand. Well, I didn't come out. I didn't tell you I didn't come out for a reason. Okay. What was the reason? Because maybe we have a history, and I didn't want him to see me. Are you saying John A. Light's the father of that baby? <laughs> Because if so, that's fine. There's nothing I could do about it. I'm just going to have to slowly walk away. I love that Junior. He might owe me a few favors. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just kidding about black women. I mean, I do support black rights, and I love black yeah. people, and I, and I, and I do like think black me, women are beautiful. Everybody. But, you know, Vinny is standing there with a baseball bat. So, um, yeah, yeah. I, I would, I would date him. Yeah. You course. would date him, right? Oh my God. Yeah. You're in, yes. I, there's something, there was something about John that was so kind of, um, you just put your guard down. Like you're just like relax around him. He I was so relaxed. Such like a sweet person, like calm person, but <laughs> you never know what's behind that little smile. Right. Because it's in prison, you met guys like that before. They're all sweet and cute, but then you cross them, boom. Yeah, that's it for you. So, Titi, let me ask you this. Now yes. that you've become an international sensation um, because of patreon.com slash Christy Comedy and all the Christians and all the fans who love and support Titi, how does it feel? How does it feel to be, to be the, new, the new you? Um, it feels great. I really appreciate all the comments there. All my fans. I call them my fans because I love you all. Yes. I love all my fans. Thank now you will be running you. for mayor of New York. I will be running for mayor of New York if I get a chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever get that chance in life. Yeah. What, plat what would be your platform? Like what would you run? Like what would be like your campaign speech or slogan? My campaign will be to put more um, safety, um, make this a better place, make this a safier place, right. more cops, that's, more, that's the slogan. more, more uh, playgrounds for yes. kids, especially yes. the kids. Here we're going to do, go, we're going to make this merch, what, what TT's, TT's campaign slogan is make New York And more a, freedom for us. More for freedom the for us. Genders. So we're going to get more, more freedom for us. And that, there you had it. Hello? That was this, that was, that was, you know, Trump had make America great again. Um, and Did he make America great again? No, but what TT, what yours is, 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 is make, make America safetyer. Right. Make America safetyer again. Right. That's what it is. Safetyer. Safetyer. So, so, so that's what we're going to do. So that's your slogan. We're going to get the, that merch. And, Oh, oh yeah, what no, happened in the TT. airport? Well, first of all, I want to ask you a question. We've been gone for three months. Did you miss me? Of course, I missed you. I missed yeah. the whole family. I missed. I'm, I'm Vinny. I missed you. I missed the kids. Yeah. Now I want to ask you also this, and you just be honest with us. You, we had you. We asked you to come over and clean the house. Yes. Clean the house a lot. Did you put on Vinny's underwear uh, when when we weren't here? Did you try them on? And what did you think of them? How did they feel? 
because you, <laughs> what I did try one on. You tried one on, and I took it with me because I wasn't gonna leave it. Here. Which one? <laughs> the red ones. The red ones. Those are the ones Those I bought. Those were your favorite ones. Oh, oh you took your Christmas <laughs> gift. I took them because I wasn't going to wear them and then leave them here knowing yeah. that I wore them. Wow. Okay. So you wore, yeah. you wore her underwear. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, 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 so you missed us. Yeah, I know. I know. We missed you too. We wanted you to come out to LA. Yeah, I was dying for you to get back because I didn't, I wanted to do a, a broadcast with you again for my fans. I missed them too. I missed them. Have people yeah. been recognizing you in the street? Oh. No, not oh, yet, but but it's coming. Hopefully, I hope so. Pretty soon, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. I want to get into really. I really want to get deep into this. Yeah. Now, are you excited because I our new baby, our new baby girl, who's oh going to be born God, in a month, you're going to be the baby's godfather and godmother at the same time. How does you? How does that make you feel? I'm going to be the godfather and the godmother. All in one. <laughs> All in one. I'm already um Vinny's god um godmother and godfather. Yes, so you'd be our babies too. Yeah, oh that would be so beautiful. That would be great. Yes. Yeah. Love it. Now are yeah, those yeah. are those Vinny's earrings? Those <laughs> <laughs> I know. Now and I like your outfit today. I like those shoes. You like my boots? I like those boots. No, nope, and I, and I meant what I said before is is you're very is is you're all over the place today, which is nice, which is good for which is good for um for Chrissy Chaos. Are you excited about the about the gay pride parade coming up? Yeah, I'm excited. You're gonna about, go. You want to go? I, me and you. Vinny, can we go? Can no? Oh, you what do you mean you could go? You're gonna give birth. No, when is the? Could you when imagine the, you give? I miss my kid's birth because I'm at the gay pride parade with TT. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> and then if she she gives birth in the gay parade, we could call the baby Rainbow. Yeah. Oh, we may name it. Well, that she's certainly going to shop there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, do you? Wait a minute. Should we all film a bit at the gay parade with TT? The gay pride parade, TT, is Sunday, June twenty seventh. June twenty seventh. I will be home back in New York. My daughter's due date oh, that's is right, June thirtieth. Back to California. California, but but. I'll be back by then. What if we all go? Hopefully the baby's born by then. What if we all go? By June 27th. June 27th to the Pride Parade. We have Homeless Pim film it. What if we do that? That would be great. You want to go, That'd me and you? Awesome. Yeah. We'll try to get you on a float. Yes. We got to get you guys matching outfits. Oh, 100%. I'm sure. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yes. Okay, TT. We're going to do it. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to. Are you wearing the overalls? Yes. <laughs> did, you see the, did you see that picture, TT? Me and, me and Vinny in the overalls? Yes. Yes, we gotta get you those. That was so cute. I think that was so cute. That was so funny. So how's I loved your post. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> I was jealous too. I was uh, like, wait a minute, no, you got... better than me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so how's the love life been? How's everything going? Any dates? Any any men no, around? We wanna know. I've been just chilling, just um concentrating on myself and trying to do you know pick up on a lot of things that i missed since i was in prison like what like what are some of the things you know together to be together with my family mm -hmm. more you know become more independent by my you know just do my life over again you know i don't right. have time for dates or anything that's gonna no. take a lot of my time I got to get myself situated first and all that. Yeah, because we had we yeah. had some we had um, there have been a couple of fans who have messaged me saying, hey, like, you know, I, I think TT's cute or whatever. Send them my way. But I was like, let me talk to him first. Talk to her. First. I'm saying if you could send one or two down my way. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any email questions today, uh, Pimp? Did anybody email any questions? Um, hold on. Let me pull, let me pull that up for one second. Okay. For now, why don't we close this with um, the airport story? But okay. So I'm, yeah, what happened? Okay, in the so yesterday we you know came back from LA and the airport, they the line first of all the lines at LAX, in the airport in Los Angeles was so insane that I start to get stressed out. And then Vinny, you know, is pregnant. I got so I'm holding all the kids' bags. You know, Delilah doesn't want to hold her bag. Tristan doesn't want to hold his bag. I'm oh holding my God, everybody's book bag Vinny. with three suitcases, <laughs> and Vinny's just pissed. You know, so I'm walking all over the airport trying to figure out how to get in here, how to get in there. The lines are crazy. So finally, one of the workers just said, "You know what? Why don't you put her in a wheelchair? Put Vinny in a in a, in a wheelchair because she's pregnant, and Did you guys, got in a yeah, because I'm already TSA pre-check, but I had to, but you know, I can't go because she's not she's not um she's not clear or TSA pre-check. So I was able to get in with that and take the kids but then i have all the kids bags all the kids uh suitcases and Vinny just goes right through in the wheelchair <laughs> and then the tsa i had i had push-up bars and and pull-up bars that you could fold up and i yeah. had them in my bag and the tsa thought it was a shotgun he 
thought I had a shotgun in the book bag. So they opened up the book bag and pulled all my stuff out. And now I'm trying to play. And it was I was so packed in, packed so tight that I'm trying to place everything in. I'm freaking dripping in sweat. Tristan's like, hold my bag. Delilah's like, I have to poop. <laughs> Vinny's just sitting there in the wheelchair looking at me like that. Looking all cute. Yeah, looking all cute, just chilling in the wheelchair. And I'm having a fucking panic attack. And then when we get, th when I finally get through, she's like, you need to relax with your attitude. Speak it to the mics. You forced me to sit on it. What do you mean? I, what do you mean I forced she you to sit so on it? You forced me to get on the wheelchair. Okay, I would have sit on that line all day long. I didn't have to sit on the wheelchair. But I saw you sweating, stressing out. Well, what would you want to do? I mean, it's like get. get so I was like, all right, let me sit down on the wheelchair. Get TSA pre-check. <laughs> what really happened? Your point of view on what just happened? Yeah. What do you think? All right, I'm staring at him. He's slamming things down on the floor. It was embarrassing, right? So embarrassing. Like, were people <laughs> looking at me? I was, right? I know. I know. Slam, and then you're screaming at Tristan for having stuff in his bag, like his own stuff in his bag. Uh, you know what I felt really I bad about? I would have been about? laughing all no, you know what I felt. You know what I felt so bad about, TT, is when we got off the plane in JFK, I was holding... Tristan's book bag and it was like so heavy and I'm like it, it was it was heavy but I was like whatever but Tristan's just like walking like with the skateboard and then I was like I was like he needs to hold his bag like this is like crazy like whatever I'm sweating and she was like he's 10 years old you're gonna make him hold the bag I was like he needs to man up the three said about a 10 year old but, I know and then you know what I realized 40 pounds for a 10 year old it wasn't 40 pounds but you know why I realized it was so heavy you know why I realized it was so heavy and that's your secret thing yeah because my pull-up bar was in it so <laughs> that's what. So ah, you know what else was in there? Them water weights probably yeah, were in I there. Know, those water weights, because I broke those the oh, first water day. Uh, Chrissy Quarantini. I, I broke them. I, I ended up you out. Uh, I know. <laughs> but that, but that, we you, honestly, I think that we need to add John A. Light and TT Jerry to our family and to our team. I think yeah. that that we need to travel only now with TT and John A. Light. That's how we're going to start rolling through the airports because me, you, and the kids, I need help. I need help. I, can, I need TT. You need help in other ways. It's not just about the airport. What, what, else, what else was I stressed about in the whole time in LA other than the airport? I never flipped out once. What did I flip out about? What did I flip out about? The only time I flipped out is when my mom was there, but she gives me anxiety. I know. I know. And you got mad at me for being on edibles. No, no, no. I got mad at you because you lied to me. No, I'm not. I know. I know. Oh, well, you lied to you? Yeah. All right, here. No, yeah. Dying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but listen, that story and all that stuff, all that edible stuff and all the, the chocolate mushroom stuff, that's only at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. And there's more to the John A. Light, T.T. Jerry story, only at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. So much wild behavior went on there. So check it out. Um, we check really out, got guys. into stuff. Yes. So so if you want to see more of TT and more of John Ailey at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy um, and ChristyComedy.com. I'm doing stand-up all over. Check me out. I got a lot of dates. A lot of these shows are sold out. Eight shows in Philadelphia already sold out. Uh, we added a show at the Fox Theater in Connecticut. Eatontown, New Jersey is almost sold out. Um, Providence, Rhode Island, all six shows sold out. So I really appreciate Boston sold out. I appreciate it all, the support. So go get your tickets. And TT... We, uh, we will be making new TT Jerry t-shirts. We will be making them. Those are coming out at chrisdcomedy.com. That merch is being uh, uh, made as we speak, and it all goes to TT. So thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you, guys. Yes. Okay, cool. Mwah.